Elon Musk has rolled out five new features to Grok, but how do they compare to ChatGPT? Well, first up, we've got memories, which means that Grok can now remember preferences and context across conversations, making its responses more intelligent and personalized over time. And it's also fully transparent. You can see what it remembers and delete anything with one click. That being said though, this is helpful, but it isn't new. ChatGPT and Gemini already have memory. So then there's workspaces. Grok 3 now lets you create custom spaces with instructions, files, and conversations all in one place, which is helpful for building custom personalities like, for example, a historian. Both Claude and ChatGPT already have this though, so Grok is just playing catch up here as well. Next, we've got Grok Studio, and this adds a live split-screen workspace where you can write code, format docs, and even build browser games and see results instantly. But again, Grok is late to the party here on this because Claude already has artifacts, ChatGPT has Canvas, and Gemini and I also has Canvas too. Then there's document integration. Grok now connects directly to Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides, but once again, ChatGPT already supports this and it integrates with Microsoft OneDrive as well. And then there's Claude, which takes things a step further with Google Drive, Google Calendar, Gmail, and GitHub. And then finally, there's Deeper Search. And this isn't brand new, but it's now being included in Grok's free tier, whereas OpenAI's deep research functionality is not available in the free tier of ChatGPT. So if you're a business user or a student who needs real-time information and research, Grok can give that to you free of charge. So while Grok's not ahead across the board, it's definitely closing gaps and trying to reach parity with ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini.